guys what is up welcome back to the channel it's time for the grocery shop we ain't been grocery shopping in maybe like a week or two so we got to do some major major grocery shopping but before I do a grocery shop I want to see exactly what we need in my refrigerator and y'all I know these videos do exist as to what's in my fridge. I really, I never knew that they existed until I saw them here on YouTube, but they do exist. And I'm like, I thought that would be an interesting video to show what's in my refrigerator. So when you guys see what's in my refrigerator, you're gonna be like, girl, <sighs> well, let's see. We have literally nothing in our refrigerator and that is very unlikely for us to have this little bit of stuff in our refrigerator right here. So I'm gonna go through real quickly to see exactly what we have. We've got some a barbecue sauce that I don't even know how long it's been in here. Um, we've got uh, this watermelon margarita, this uh, original club tails I've never tried this flavor but I have tried other flavors and they are actually good got a thing of peanut butter back there I've got some Mexicana cream that's best to be sold by uh, what's that date 2 13 19 okay so this is well overdue so I need to get rid of that um these have been in here I don't know how long Let's look at the expiration date. Ugh, six five of nineteen is when it's best used by store and go for these. I've got these vanilla flavored candy coating. I think I have had these since Christmas time that I was supposed to be planning on doing something with these around Christmas time, and I never got a chance to do them. So I know these are probably old as well. I've got some sour cream in here. I don't even think this has been opened yet. It says best used by 426 of 19. Is that what it says? Oh my God, I gotta get thrown out too. Then on the second row over here, we've got some Kahlua rum and coffee. The original, this was supposed to, this goes um, good with some Kahlua and milk for around the Christmas holiday. So you can already tell how long we have had this in the refrigerator. <laughs> this is terrible. We've got some Hiram Walker Triple Sec. This is pretty recent. We've actually bought this a few weeks ago. So that is a mixed drink that we can keep. Um, got a thing of milk that we probably need to replenish as well. We've got eggs in here. Okay, so we got a good amount of eggs, but we'll probably need to get some more. And because the kids are home for the summertime, so a lot of this stuff is going pretty, pretty fast. We got the sub kit right here. That's halfway empty. Got a thing of ham. That's halfway empty. We got a thing of premium meats. That's ham and turkey. Look like that's halfway gone. Got a thing of bacon. Um. Taco Bell cheese. Have y'all ever seen the Taco Bell cheese? I've never seen this before, but my husband bought this the other day. And I thought that was neat. Taco Bell sell their own, they got their own brand of cheese now. So we got that. Some sliced cheese in here. And we also have the taco brand, which is the shredded cheddar cheese. And this one is the zesty ranch. And y'all, I'm sorry if my refrigerator is beeping. We have not figured out how to stop it from beeping. Down here we have some white onion that look pretty good, so I think we're good with that. I've got one bell pepper in here. Got some green onions. I don't know when I last time. I don't know when did I buy these. I don't know. And I've got a thing of red potatoes. And then down here we have the spirits. Okay, for the adults. And over here, we've got some whiskey sour mix. Got some whiskey sour mix. 
a thing of wine that probably needs to get thrown out. A thing of mustard. That's pretty good. And then all of our condiments over here. Mayonnaise, Thousand Island, relish. Um, this submarine dressing right here. Got some peanut butter. We got this Southwest hot mustard. Raspberry vinaigrette. What is this? Sweet Baby Ray's secret sauce. I've used this one time before. Probably need to throw this out because it ain't no good no more. Uh, this probably may get thrown out as well. Yeah, I'm going to throw that out too. In this top rack, we've got some salsa. I know that needs to get thrown out. Some mustard. I don't even know what this is. I'm probably gonna throw that out. Ketchup. I don't know why my kids like to put half empty containers like that in back in the refrigerator. Hershey's, some pudding, and some margarine up there. So yes, it is definitely time. It is, you found it. It is definitely time for some groceries, so we're going to the grocery store, and we'll see you there. Have somewhat the, so we do have somewhat what of a list, but we just kind of winging it, just going out every aisle. Normally, we just going out every aisle and just replenish whatever we feel the need that we want at the time. We don't really go by a set list per se. We get the important stuff, stuff that we know we need, and little fillers here and there. You know. myself you would understand when you're a real youtuber focus when you're a real youtuber you don't care who's watching you so you guys we did a little bit of damage not much Ow, this is all the stuff that we got so far We finally made it back home and we actually end up going to two different stores we went to Aldi as you guys can see as y'all saw from the previous clips and we also went to Walmart as well so I've got everything laid out on my table over here and I've got some things laid out on my bar area over here so I'm gonna show you really really quick as to what I got I need to really put this stuff up because some of this stuff needs to go in the freezer um, and I don't want it to get ruined. Um, so I think I, I think we spent like right at 200 bucks for everything. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all what I got. So I'm just going to go lay it. They, my kids have already basically laid everything out for me. Um, so I just got some, um, rounds, tortilla chips. I've got some barbecue chips right here. We got the wavy chips. Y'all already saw we got two things of milk. 
milk goes by so so quick in my house i mean it's ridiculous how fast we go through milk but i got some um garlic powder got some orange juice right here uh we got some bologna uh back of hot dogs right here we got some strawberries i think on one day i'm gonna do some strawberry shortcakes like the angel food cake um so we really like those my kids and my dad and my husband really seem to like those strawberry shortcakes so i'm gonna probably make some strawberry shortcakes with some angel food cake one day this week um got a thing of chicken drumettes i'm not chicken drumettes chicken drumsticks uh we got a thing of hamburger meat Oh, we got two things of meatballs. Got a thing of grapes. Got a thing of um, some parboiled rice. I got a fresh pack of green onion. I love so much. They, 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 these make food taste so much better. I don't know why. I just love buying these fresh green onions. I got some of these. Uh, this grated cotiga. I might be saying it wrong. But this is Mexican cheese. Um, this grated cheese Mexican blend, a Mexican style coticha. I don't know how to pronounce it. Y'all comment down below and let me know if y'all know how to pronounce that. But this cheese is really sharp. It's really good. All right, I said grapes. Got the meatballs. I already said that. Got a thing of flour, some sugar, some cheese right there. Got a thing of butter. Got these little uh, three pack of heat and serve sausages. Got three boxes of those so they can actually have something for breakfast in the morning. Um, let me see. I got these off-brand sodas. And let me tell y'all, my kids will drink these like water. So therefore, I don't really, um, especially because they're out for the summertime, they will basically drink anything that I put before them. So therefore, I buy them the non-name brand drinks because it's just going to be gone within a matter of days. But I got the Mountain Lion. No, that ain't Mountain Lion. That's Mountain Lightning. <laughs> I got a thing of root beer from Walmart, off brand. Some sugar. If I don't know if I showed. Yeah, did we get sugar over there? Yeah, we got two things of sugar. We got a thing of sugar over there from Aldi. And we got another thing of sugar from Walmart for them to make Kool-Aid. Thing of root beer right here. Twist up right here. And we got a thing of Dr. Thunder. Um, probably do some spaghetti one day this week. Um, and we like to put ground uh, sausage in ours. Well, my husband likes to put ground sausage in his as well. So we put the ground sausage in there. We got a thing of uh, Italian mild sausage. We got two packs of those. Uh, my husband love y'all know we we from the country from South Carolina, the country. Okay, so we love Roger Wood. Um, I have actually been drinking this kombucha. This kombucha is really, really good. My husband said it tastes like fermented wine, but it's not. But it's really good. It gives me a lot of energy, and I really like it. Um, this Welch's passion fruit juice. Got that from the register at Walmart. Love, love, love. Um, got this thing of gravy and Salisbury steak. This will be good with some of the potatoes that I got somewhere probably on the table over there. But I got this because this is a quick and easy meal for the night that I really don't feel like slaving on the, on the stove. So I'll be able to cook that one night this week. And I got two things of spaghetti because I know my husband will be planning on cooking some spaghetti this week as well. And then of course we got the um, angel food cake which goes really good with those fresh strawberries that you guys saw right there now moving on to the table over here we got another thing of 12 thing of eggs we got some packs of 98 cent cookies these are the chocolate turtle brownie and we got the white chunk macadamia nut macadamia nut cookies to my macadamia <laughs> so we got the cool whip right here um, so that will go with the strawberries and the angel food cake. 
Um, of course, the Kool-Aid. We actually love this sh charcoal berry fin. This right here, you guys, mix this with a little bit of um, adult beverage, like some vodka or anything like that. Y'all, when I say it's good, it's really good. Y'all got to try it. Got to think of mushrooms for the spaghetti. Got two loaves of bread. Got some syrup. Another thing of orange juice. Another thing of milk for the kids to make sandwiches with. Just regular mayonnaise. Um, store brand. Uh, got some pop tarts right here. We got the frosted cookies and cream. Uh, got a thing of bananas right here. Uh, we got a thing of frosted strawberry. We actually got two boxes because I actually like these straw um these um pop tarts as well. So yeah, so we got two boxes of the pop tart strawberry, and then we got one of the cookies and cream. I never tried the cookies and cream, but I think I think my kids might like those. They seem like they're pretty good. Um, we got a thing of fresh garlic. Uh, we got two packs of this fresh corn that's already shucked. Come four in a pack, so we got two of those. We got a thing of garlic bread right here. Uh, we got some fruit loops for the children. Some canned goods over here. Y'all know Aldi let you basically package up everything yourself. And this is just a box that I saw laying around. So I just put all my canned goods in that box. Um, oops. I found this at Aldi. This is a new drink that I found. This is called a mango mimosa made with fresh squeezed mango juice. So I'm going to try that. I'm excited to try that. Um, I don't know what kind of drink this is, but Walmart had it. I don't know who is by, who made it, what it tastes like, but it says Cola Champagne. So I don't know if this is a foreign drink. I don't know, but it just says that like i don't it doesn't have no kind of name brand or anything so if y'all ever seen this in walmart and you guys have tried it before definitely let me know then we also have um this twin pack of frosted flakes right here my kids go through cereal like crazy around here also got this thing um uh, walmart brand cream soda got a bag of red potatoes right here and we got a bunch of canned goods right there and some spaghetti sauce right there for the spaghetti one day this week. Um, we bought the children something, another, some real quick and easy, something for breakfast so they can like warm up. They don't have to like turn the stove on, anything like that while they're here. I got a box of 10 buttermilk waffles. This is the regular brand, I mean, regular uh, flavor and then the other kid likes the one with the blueberries in it so I got one they got their own box of waffles because one of them like blueberries other one like the uh, regular original we got us a watermelon so I can't wait to cut into this we got some fudge revel I guess this is the same thing as like fudge royal where it's mixed with chocolate and strawberry also got some uh, mixed peppers, the orange, the yellow, and the red. What's up? Okay. Um, and I got a thing of grilled chicken breasts. That are these chicken breasts are basically pre-done. I just they just need to like yeah it says fully cooked, keep frozen. So I really like buying these because it's something quick and convenient, and I can make like tacos, make them with pasta, like whatever, or I want to put like on a put it on a salad. These are really good, and I just add like a little bit of seasoning to it and warm them up, and they're really they're good to go. So I got a bag of those. Got the kids some peanut butter whey first got some honey buns swiss rolls they got their own box of swiss rolls uh got these cherry lime and blue raspberry pops uh popsicles we got some onion uh onion recipe and soup dip mix this is good for like flavor flavoring your different dishes and things like that also got a thing of ketchup as well so yeah 
that's all the stuff we got from Aldi and Walmart and then the rest of the stuff is over here and yeah so I'm about to put up my grocery so yeah I'm about to put up my grocery and get this refrigerator looking get this refrigerator back looking like it uh should be that like, light is yellow I still got to change up my lights so I need to go ahead and throw some of this stuff out like this right here I thought I showed y'all earlier I gotta throw this out let me go ahead and do that right now let me sit y'all up somewhere right here it says renew rebalance rebuild reclaim rekindle and recharge I like the taste but my husband does not like the way it tastes it tastes pretty good to me and this is the guava goodness this is the guava you don't like this you say why you say you don't like it huh Fermented. fermented. Oh, fermented. Fermented. It tastes like fermented cabbage. Like kimchi. I like kimchi. I like it. It's good to me. I like it. My husband is over there putting stuff up in the pantry now. Are you organizing it or are you just putting stuff up there? I'm trying. Oh, you got it organized pretty good, babe. Let me show y'all how my husband has it organized so far. And he's got it organized pretty pretty good. He's still working at it. But I see he's got the boxes and the cereals and stuff up there. Then he's got the canned goods and the... the what's this stuff over here? Just Okay, so the, that stuff. Are you leaving the bread right there? No, you just got it right there for right now. Mm -hmm. So you got the canned goods and the stuff right there. Then you got like the miscellaneous stuff, like the boxes and you know all that good jibber jibber stuff. And then of course we got stuff down there as well. And then of course I've got my canisters down here. Which and then I got the extras down there. <sighs> that didn't go in the trash. And of course we got the boxes of oodles and noodles. Why do they leave these packs open like this? All right, guys, so that is it for my what's in my fridge slash grocery shop haul. Mm, I don't know what this video is going to be titled, but anyway, make sure you keep looking good. Make sure you keep smelling good, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.